Hey guys, uh, I thought I would show you how I meal prep. Today is Friday and it's Friday afternoon. I usually come home a little bit early because, well, I want to beat traffic and it's been a long week. So I figured I would just get meal prep out of the way right now so that I don't have to deal with it this weekend. And then I can just kind of like recoup and get ready for the next week. So I'm gonna show you how I do a super, super easy meal prep. I just went to Whole Foods, and at Whole Foods, I grabbed a few things, and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna do this in two parts. So right now, I've just preheated the oven, and it's so over So the here. oven is set for 425, and I actually put my sweet potatoes, which I just scrubbed nice and clean. Aren't they pretty? So I won't consume all of these in one week, uh, but I like to have a little bit of extra in my fridge. So I'll make all of them. So if I'm ever wanting to add a little bit extra carb to any meal, uh, I'll be able to do that. And then because I'm so lazy today, I went to Whole Foods and I grabbed vegetables that are pre-cut and pre-washed. Um, that's just how we roll today, and I'm about to debone and de-skin these chickens. Um, they're two giant uh, rotisserie chickens from Whole Foods, and after I do all of these things, these should be my lunches for about five um, days. I just want to make a point. I'm going to have extra food. This is not <laughs> five meals. This is way more than five meals. Um, way more than five meals. So it's super easy. I'm going to go through it. Obviously, I'm not going to film it while I'm going through it, but I will come back and show you the finished product. The sweet potatoes I usually cook for about 35 to 40 minutes. I just keep checking them. I'm going to toss them in olive oil. I'm not going to weigh my olive oil today. Uh, I just put about two tablespoons approximately to toss with the cut sweet potatoes and the vegetables. I'll put a little seasoning on top and then I'll throw it in the oven and it's done. Um, yeah, and so I'll see you guys in a little okay, bit. Okay, so the uh, potatoes are in the oven and I'm going to show you what kind of Tupperware I use. Uh, I just get these from Bed Bath & Beyond. Uh, they are, actually there should be a size on here somewhere, 2.8 cups, 22.5 uh, ounces it says that it holds. I put my 4 ounces of chicken, 3 to 4 ounces of sweet potato, and I stuff the rest with vegetables. Uh, again, because I'm not being super specific and counting macros like crazy right now, it's really hard to go over on veggies. so. That's what I do, and I also wanted to show you the so chicken. even though you only see one de-skin, deboned chicken, it is in fact two. This is two things of meat right here. And then this is just one carcass that I have left over. Poor chicken. This is the veggies bacon. Uh, I put the sweet potatoes on top so that they finish, or they cook a little bit faster because normally they will cook slower than the veggies. Um, I'm gonna take the veggies out here pretty soon. They've been in for about 20 minutes, and I'll let the Sweet potatoes sit in for about 25 minutes. So 11 minutes All right, ago. so sweet potatoes and veggies are done. <laughs> there is my roommate in the background. Uh, here, have a look. Voila, vegetables, they look fantastic. I like them a little crunchy still, so they're not totally soggy. And the beautiful array of sweet potatoes. Again, uh, I don't actually like these crunchy. I like them a little firm, but not okay. crunchy. And now I'm gonna show you how I weigh this stuff out. Again, I'm doing four ounces of chicken today, three ounces of sweet potatoes, and the rest of vegetables. And I'll actually weigh out the vegetables as well to show you guys what I would do on average. But it's a conglomeration of different veggies, so it's a little harder to be specific. If I were counting macros, I would do all one vegetable. For example, asparagus is really good, broccoli, um, I like Brussels sprouts. There's a lot of really great vegetables out there, but for now, I like to feel like I'm eating the rainbow, so I'm putting as many different colors in as I can. All right, so I have already teared the scale for the weight of the container. That's important that you do it first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the turkey or the chicken in. Chicken, oh, almost. Voila. All right, we're gonna stay at 399, that's good. Oops, well. Then I actually moved the scale over so it was closer to my sweet potatoes. I'm gonna tear this again so it clears out and then 
take a little scoop of these guys, put them in here. That's two, let's see here. And because I'm only doing three, I like to go a little under. So three ounces there. And then I will move this over. Voila, I will tear it again. And just to give you guys a little idea of what this looks like, we're giving a little scoop here. Let's see. That is two ounces. That's two ounces of vegetables. And if you put in two ounces of uh, asparagus, it would possibly come up as like 15 calories. So I'm going to put in quite a lot more. I'm going to do six ounces of veggies. How about that? Almost. Voila, there we go. And that's one okay, done. Voila, and it's done. So I'll, I'm gonna show you all the containers and that there's actually some extra food. So this meal, the chickens each were $10 a piece. Uh, both of those containers of veggies were each $10. A little expensive, I know, but that's the price I pay for not having to cut everything. It saves me maybe 15 to 30 minutes, depending on what vegetables they are. And this way I get all the different options of what kind of veggies I want. Uh, the sweet potatoes were about $8 for seven of them, and you'll see how many extra I have. All right, as you can see, there's definitely some extra sweet potatoes. That's probably three to four meals worth. Not as many extra veggies, because those cook down a bit. And then a good solid three meals of chicken for me. That's probably three quarters of one whole chicken. And then the rest of the meals are all ready to be sealed. And then I will actually just cover them up and I can put these in the freezer and then I'll just take them to work with me. And that is the first meal prep video I've done. Again, this is from the Diet Doc San Francisco, teaching you how to eat in a balanced and healthy way for your life. Have a good Friday.